Hey guys, Paul Ragsdale here with Team Fat Boys. Wanted to update these guys on some uh, uh, domains that we picked up. I picked up uh, catfishcommunity.com. Uh, you should see that right down here. And uh, and we've got the original teamfatboys.com, T E A M F A T B O Y Z dot com. We have uh, also picked up teamfatboys.online again that's t-e-a-m-f-a-t-b-o-y-z dot online and the last one I picked up uh, I picked it up quite a while ago um, uh, what Chris Wallace was uh, getting uh, united for catfish he was going to set up a uh, website uh, for everybody to get to for the uh, uh, catfish community to uh, go against the pay lakes and whatnot, and it was dropped for some reason. I seen in the uh, the URL was available again, so I went ahead and picked up that one too, and that is unitedforcatfish.com. Unitedforcatfish. Dot com, And as we get more domains that point towards the Team Fat Boys uh, brand, um, I'll keep these guys informed. So with that said, let's get to another subject. Let me to uh, create a website for uh, the Carlisle Lake uh, tournament series. So I did that. And uh, that is at CarlisleLakeCatfishing.com, C-A-R-L-Y-L-E-L-A-K-E-C-A-T-F-I-S-H-I-N-G.com. And that website's up and running. Uh, uh, got the rules up, getting ready to uh, put up uh, sponsors as we get those sponsors I'm going to help uh, Scott get familiar with it, and then I'm going to uh, uh, give it to him to uh, update himself, and maybe I'll stay on in case he ends up having any problems, major crashes or anything like that. So uh, we got that out of the way, and uh, let's see, what I else? I need to get some got? thank yous out there. Uh, one would be for uh, Lyle Stokes of Black Horse Custom Rods has uh, always been in my corner, always backed me up. Uh, even th when things got hairy, uh, he took me off to the side and put me under his wing and and got me to uh, uh, believe in the CPR and uh, catfish conservation and uh, all that good stuff. So I do want to say thank you to Lyle Stokes and... Uh, and I'd like to thank Big Willie with AmazingFishing.com. Uh, he's been in my corner here and there, and uh, uh, he's sending me some catfish kits for the kids, which is going to be a big help, and I appreciate that. And uh, see, what else do we got on the list here I got to do? Yes, I want to thank Frank Neely. Uh, Frank Neely did draw us a logo it's original nothing like it on uh, on the internet and I'd like to thank Frank Neely for uh, doing that for us and uh, if you need something done get a hold of him and he'll be happy to shoot your price anyway thank you Frank Neely I appreciate it and uh, let's see we got some more stuff we're going to talk about here real quick uh, some uh, uh, things I've had made and uh, stuff. Now, this is just the first show, so uh, we'll be doing more. He's just trying to get oriented in the stuff and, and get it fixed the way that it should be fixed. So anyway, on to the next subject. Anyway, to get to something else, my website crashed, and I didn't have a choice but to uh, uh, completely rip it up, take it down, and uh, put up a new one. So this website that I put up is 100% compatible with iPhones or 
uh, Android phones, you should be able to, to operate all the menus, whereas before it was kind of flaky off and on whether it would work or not. So we got those tweaks fixed, fixed and uh, uh, that covers that. See, it seems like I'm forgetting something, so uh, let me get up here just for a second see if I can remember what it was. You know, a few years back I had a guy, um, I, I went by the nickname of Gator. Uh, out on a, the big rig uh, when I, I was over to a truck driver so many years and I went by Gator and I had a guy that oh I think his name his name's Richard Richard Brook Richard Brooks sounds familiar anyway I got a no it's Branch Richard Branch um I went by Gator, and he uh, he carved this uh, walking stick. It's a good long. He he does did a lot of these and dropped them off at truck stops and stuff. But being that I was uh, called Gator, he did this one for me, and I wanted to show it to you. He carved that with a, a little buck knife, a damn Gator's head. And this was, this used to be a, a two before, and he uh, sanded it down. You can tell it it was a two before, and he uh, shaved all this down by hand, and then he carved that damn alligator head in there for me, and uh, I've been pretty proud of that. And I've been using it here lately. I hadn't really used it. Because um, I, I just thought, well, you know, that thing looks really cool. I'm not going to use it. But I started using it here lately, and uh, I thought I'd just kind of show you that. It's pretty cool. If uh, I'll uh, talk to him uh, probably this week or so and see if uh, he'll let me give out his phone number and maybe you can have him do special carb jobs. This one here. Only cost me twenty two dollars, that's all he charged me. Twenty two bucks. And I thought that was pretty cool. The head would come off, but I glued it so it wouldn't come off anymore. So it won't come off. I won't lose it. I got one in there too that's a, a black lab. Uh we had a black lab that well we have one. He's retired now, but he was a search and rescue dog for a cadaver. And uh, we had a, a black lab done of him. Maybe I'll show. You know, let me go. Let me, let me show you that one. So anyway, um, we ended up having another one done. This one's kind of dirty, but uh, it's made of the same material two before. And on the end, he carved a black lab. And like I said, he's dirty, but he's been used before. See, the, the head, this one comes off, and he made that with a, a pin, drilled a hole in, in that dang thing. So I glued mine. I'll probably end up gluing this one, too, because I don't want to ever lose it. But there, that match back up. But anyway, that's kind of cool. I wanted to show you that. And uh, with that being said, man, I gotta go get some stuff done. I got a couple goats that I'm getting. I gotta put up some fence yet this morning, and uh, do that. I think that I may be going fishing with Jason Mathena again. Um, I'll know more about that this week. And uh, until the next show, guys, we'll talk at you later. And remember, if you ain't fishing, you ain't living.